everyone, my name is Cyan, welcome to my channel, and currently I am at the art production studio that I've mentioned in a couple of videos before. Behind me is some of the work that my uncle has been working on with his team for Go With Plastics. There are a bunch of fun things around the studio that make products happen, make art happen, and I wanted to show you guys around a little bit, so yeah, follow me. <laughs> Over here behind me is a new robot arm that just arrived and still has to be put together. But it's really, really awesome. There's gonna be like a plastic extruder, so it's gonna be able to make huge, huge things um, out of plastic, just like a 3D printer, but much, much bigger. Ooh, I'm out of focus. But yeah, check it out. So all of these pieces are made from recycled plastic, and this one is kind of like a culmination of all kinds of scrap pieces that were left about from previous jobs. And here is another experiment with color and plastic. Behind me is the laser cutter machine. It seems to be doing well. And then there's the outside area. I don't know if you'll be able to see anything because it's very dark. The general gist of this area is that there are a bunch of bags of plastic that has been used and sent here to be repurposed to be made into the panels. And there are usually a bunch of just art pieces laying around and a bunch of scraps as well. This is like a remnant of one of the plastic pieces that has been made. And these pieces like that are left over are really, really cool, really pretty. Um, you can tell, I, I love them, I love how it looks. So everything is kept and then reused and hopefully can be um, repurposed again into more projects. You can see chairs that were made with the same recycled plastic from GoGo -Go Plastics, a table, and then this beautiful, um, I believe that was laser cut, I'm not sure. It's all about environmentally friendly, and as you can see, this is like plastic that has been left in the ocean that has caused this turtle to uh, grow, but not its middle because it's been trapped. All the plastic that's used here is recycled and repurposed to um, create these objects, which is really, really cool. Over here behind me is the kitchen along with a bunch of tools and a storage space on that side for everything that's being used. There's a ton of stuff, um, but here, check this out. So this coffee machine is really cool. Look how amazing it looks on the inside. Um, this will take a little bit of work to put together, but after that we'll be able to make espresso, cappuccino, anything. Um, but it's, yeah, it's a work in progress. Welcome to the upstairs area. We've got a drilling and milling machine. This is one of my favorites, very handy. Here's some more examples of the plastic that Google Plastic makes and the CNC machine that is used to cut out the plastic in different shapes and the computer that's being used. Um, and here you can see some more really, really cool panels that have been made. And so here is one of the like panels that is used. I love this color. From here you can see some of the projects that are being worked on from above. To give you a better sense of like what's going on. It's pretty cool. And I guess the last area to show tucked away in the corner is over here. This leads us to the office downstairs. Be careful. Watch your head. Wow. So this is the office space and there's a bunch of amazing work that is being kept here and also just a bunch of uh, Playmobil and old toys because right now there's a project going on where um, he's been trying to like experiment with how these Playmobil um, dolls look when they're pressed. So you can see some examples over here. Just like documentation of prior work that my uncle has made and friends and family and just kind of like a collection. Beautiful, inspirational, very cool and like hard hitting work from friends and um, people that we admire. So this is an example of a Google -Go Plastics product. This is a slide and this was made for my cousin and she has another one that's baby blue. And um, here's another like really, really cool thing. This is made for her first birthday. Um, it's just so awesome. Behind here you can see some of the paintings my grandfather made 
and those are gonna end up coming to um, our house when it's finished, but aren't they wonderful? And then in general, there's just like so much wonderful work around here. Like these are um, stairs that my uncle made um, for his projects in the past and like documentation of his oven. I personally love this office. I think it's really cozy. There's art everywhere on all the walls from past, from present, from friends, from ourselves. This is more of just like a real office area, a good place to talk, a good place to just do your work on your laptop or something like that. And then upstairs is fully hands-on, so it's a great contrast. But both are really necessary and have been, I don't know, great spaces. I think they're both pretty inspirational. I feel really lucky that I have family that's in art and that's in making and that I've kind of been surrounded by that my whole life. And so I hope that this video gives you a little bit of perspective on what that looks like because I think it's a really unique and different environment to be in and a different work environment that has been really, really fun to show you guys around in. So I hope this video was able to maybe like satisfy your curiosity about our production or making or what a space like this would look like. I'm hoping I'm gonna get to spend some more time here with the projects that I'm gonna be working on before the end of the year and also at the beginning of next year. And I'm so looking forward to that and hopefully we'll be able to take you guys along for the ride as well and show you the step-by-step -step process for different things that I'm really, really excited about. So if you wanna stay tuned with that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to like this video so that I know that you enjoyed it and that'll help me form the next videos and hopefully it'll help the YouTube algorithm. But only do that if you like. All right, it's been nice to see y'all. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.